The new iPhone 6 and more devices has just been unveiled by Apple. I have the whole news story for you guys here on I.O. What's up you guys, I'm Landon Dallasing and let me ask you, what do you think about the iPhone 6? So I'm going to be talking about the huge announcements that was just heard by Apple. So Apple has come out with the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus and the Apple Watch. Now this was rumored to be called the iWatch. So let me go over some of the specs of the screen. The iPhone 6 is much bigger than the iPhone 5. It's 4.7 inches from corner to corner. And the Plus version is even bigger. It's 5.5 inches big. That's much bigger than the Samsung Galaxy S5. Their screen is 5.1. This might make you question, is this too big? The operating system is going to be the iOS 8. The new iPhone 6 is going to have 1334 by 750 display. And the iPhone 6 Plus is going to have a ridiculous 1920 by 1080. This is the highest resolution Apple has ever come out with. But Samson, uh, they might already have this. But Apple says it's not about being first. It's about having the best. So they're going to be coming out with three sizes for the iPhone 6. The 16 gig, the 32 gig, and also the 128 gigabytes. Damn, that is a whole lot of memory. And I know a lot of you guys are probably asking, well, how much is this all going to cost? Well, on a two-year plan, the 16 gig is going to be 199 The 64, 299 And the 128 gigabytes is going to be 399 And just add $100 on top of every single one of those for the iPhone 6 Plus. So there has been many complaints about the battery life. You know, we want more. But finally, Apple has responded. So the iPhone 6 battery is going to last you 14 hours of talk time. And on the Plus version, it's ridiculous. But 24 hours. That is significantly more. Why couldn't Apple do this years ago? So the new phone is going to allow you to have landscape. I'm talking about on your home page. You know, when you flip your phone sideways, all of the icons and applications you have on there is going to turn as well. It's going to allow you to have more space on the home pages and it gives it a different look. So one of the biggest announcements from Apple was the Apple Watch. I think I kind of would have liked it if it was called the iWatch. Something like this has never been done by them. It's a computerized wristwatch and Apple is so confident that they can take what they're used to a bigger screen and condense it down to this really teeny insy weeny screen on a watch. And they're even so confident that they made a smaller version for women. So the straps come in different color and materials. It's going to come in leather, steel, and even 18 karat gold wristband. Look at Apple being so creative and making so many different SKUs. But beyond the look, the Apple Watch is a very smart device. You can reply to your messages and there's a dial on the side that allows you to zoom in and out. You can control your music from your watch so you don't have to like struggle to get your phone out of your pocket. Siri is also going to exist so you don't have to worry. You can also download apps on the watch. This is so exciting stuff. Are you going to pick up the new iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, or the Apple Watch? Anyways, it's all your Apple updates. Thanks for watching.